Hello everyone, I'm Andrew aka Mipuzia and you are watching the course about best multiplayer in GTA 5. So this is the second lesson and today we will learn how to implement the commands with Rage API, what are they and how to do them. So first of all, let's create uh, the new class. We'll call it uh, commands. So let's imagine that we have some methods. For example, we want to create class. Let's say public void create car methods. And uh, we are doing something there. So uh, how to call it from the our game, from the our client. So first of all, we need to use using GTA network API. Also, if you want to call something, uh, with Rage, we need to inherit our scripts, our classes from script. Next, we need to tag this method with attribute command. So now if we will type create car, this will tell to the script method that we are calling it and it will tell to our commands class that we are calling this method. So as a parameter, as a first parameter, they are always player, player, player. So, uh, this lesson is not about vehicles, so I'll just implement it. We'll talk about them in in the future, I guess. Player position, player dot heading, one three one one three one. So now, if we will launch the server and type the name of this class in our chat, create car, it will call this method. Let's try it. So the server is launched. So our GMP is started and we can now try to test this command. So we are typing create car and bam, car is spawned. So what else can we do with these commands? What attributes, what parameters can we provide to it? Let's discuss it. So let's imagine that we don't want to uh, type the whole name of the method. And we want to create some shortcut, you know, of it, some alias. So the first alias is like free for you. So let's type here like hp. Let's implement the new command uh, that help. Player, player. Also, let's provide one parameter to it. For example, int count. And let's uh, set player health set to count. Let's test it. So the server started and let's try to type set health. And as we can see, command not found. That's because we set the first alias. So if you type uh, HP, it will uh, tell us the usage of this. Uh, tell us the usage of it. So let's provide HP 50. As you can see here, it sets our health points to 50. HP 100, back to 100. Nice. So back to aliases. Let's imagine that we have uh, the command teleport, but uh, we also want to provide some um, some short usage to it. We can uh, type here alias equals to tp. Now let's create method uh, public void uh, teleport player player, and let's parse float x float y float z. And set, uh, sorry. And set the player dot position to the new vector tree, same as unity, x, y, z. And let's start the server. So let's try teleport, teleport 111. Let's try tp. As you can see, it's uh, tell us the usage of the whole command. So teleport, tp 123, 123, 123. Yep, as you can see, it's working. Back to our comments. Sometimes some people cannot provide the parameters or we want to set like a default one. So let's uh, implement the armor command. Let's imagine that uh, if we don't provide set player armor, 
if we will not provide the count of the armor that we want to set, it will automatically set it to 100, to the full armor. So we are typing int armor equals to 100. Same as optional parameters in uh, the default C sharp methods. So player armor equals armor. Okay, let's test. So we can try armor 50, and as you can see, we have 50 armor. But if you will not provide anything, it will automatically set it to 100. So, going to the next parameters. Next example, uh, let's imagine that we have uh, slash me command, who played on RP servers probably know what is it doing. Uh, type me, for example. Player, player, string, actions. So, if you didn't play, I will shortly explain it. When we're typing the slash me and some text, it's like telling everyone that someone is using something. So, let's player send chat, so sorry, send chat message. For example, um, player.name did that plus actions. So let's try it. Okay, let's try to dot me looking at something. And as you can see, it's a tell us the error. That's because it's parsing uh, the parameters like with, uh, with the space. It's splitting it with the space and trying to parse to this type. So if we want to parse the whole string, the whole all parameters that we provided only to one argument, uh, like like here string actions, we need to set the greedy arc parameter to true. It will tell us it will tell to regimp not to split all the parameters and uh, like not build like but store them only in one uh, variable. So let's try now. Dot me looking at something. And you guys, as, as you can see, weird newbie, it's uh, the default regimp name. Did that looking at something. Okay. So the last thing that we want to implement is uh, the checkings, like the confirmations of something. Let's imagine that we have uh, command kill me. public void kill player 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 and we want it to work only if uh, so if the player health will be below than 80 only in that way it will heal it so player dot health equals 100 player send chat message killed otherwise it will uh, return to the player the message It will return the message not healed, you are healed as fuck. So let's try to do it. So heal me, not healed, you are health, health as fuck. If you will say heal me, it will heal us. So as we can see, this this code is, looks really ugly. Yes, you can tell that you're a shitty coder, you should. Uh, Make it better and other shit. Yeah, we can make it better. For example, like this, if you want to make some actions here. But still, it's not so useful. Here it comes the additional attributes, same as a command, but we need to implement them from ourselves. So let's create the new directory here and we'll tell it command attributes. So we need to create the new class and call it requires health and the keyword attribute. Yes, we'll add it to our git system. Also, we need to inherit it from command condition attribute. As you can see, right, they're telling us it's something wrong. We are not implementing the method and it will automatically implement it for us. So we want to set some amount. So let's provide the property amount. 
Also, we need to provide the constructor to this class. So public requires help attribute and let's set it optional. So int amount equals 100. And let's say that amount equals amount. So here we are implementing the same logic uh, as in method. So if, if player.health is more than amount, we want to tell player send chat message, you're healthy as fuck. And return false so like it's not right that someone is trying to use this command otherwise we'll return true so we are giving the permission to use this command so let's use this attribute now requires health and let's provide for example 75 also we need to remove all previous logic from it okay let's test so let's test it now we are typing heal me and it's telling us that you're healthy as fuck. And we'll set our health points to the 50, for example, and type heal me again. Boom, we are healed. So, in this lesson, we learned a lot of things about RageMP commands. The only things that we are not learned, it's uh, how to enable and disable the commands in runtime, but we will 100% discuss it later. Also, the source code of this lesson will be available in our Git repository into the lesson two branch. Links for our Git repository, Discord channel, and also some useful links will be in our description. Don't forget to subscribe, press your like, also type some comments. See you in the next lessons.